Okay guys, so on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. So when you go to sign in, we're gonna sign in with the D intern at pbpc.org, put in my password, and then for some reason, the intern put in his personal phone number so we can't get into the email. So I'm gonna show you how to get rid of this problem. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into here, into your admin center. We're gonna check to make sure that everything is turned off. So we're gonna hit edit user and scroll down a little bit here. And we're gonna click on manage multi-factor multi authentication. And we're gonna find the user account for the problem person here and see how it says enabled so it's disabled in the admin center in the 365 but it still um, turns on so let me go back in here in the private window go to office.com click sign in type in the email address type in the password can type today sign in and next all right so here you go all right so we're gonna cancel this actually hold on a second all right so you want to go to portal dot come on the, uh, can't type today portal.azure.com all right and then we're gonna hit maybe later here and then we're going to go we're gonna click on short portal click on view and we're going to go to users okay users and then we're going to find the user again in here. Okay. Double click it. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to where it says authentication methods. And here you can see the phone number. So we're going to take the phone number out and we're going to hit revoke multi-factor authentication sessions and then we're going to save this you see I already took it out hit save here and now you can see it's updating the data okay updated and then we're going to go and let's click on overview we just want to refresh this and then go back down to uh, authentication methods and as you can see it's already saved so let's go ahead and go back and we're going to open another window let's close this back out all right new and private window go to office.com then we're going to click on sign in put in the email address in the password click sign in next and now it should pop up yeah, there we go and hit skip setup now and hit yes and now we're back in so there you go guys I hope this helped out and I'll see you guys on the next video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time